Hey there, my name is Yvette Alvarado, and I work on the Partners Relations team here at Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Have you ever heard the saying that God is the God of the impossible? What does that even mean? Here's what Gloria has to say about this. The Lord says that to us from this scripture right here in Mark 11, 23 and 24. Why didn't you say something? If you want something, why don't you say it? Jesus said himself, what I say unto you for verily, I'm telling you the truth, he said, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. If you're not happy today with the way things are, I'm just going to tell you what Jesus might say to you sometime is, why don't you say something? If you want a new house, why don't you say something? Why don't you start speaking to that house and command it to come to you in the name of Jesus? We all have mountains in our path that are so large, moving them by ourselves is just impossible. If we remember this passage, we know that God is with us and He is not going to leave our side. He can move these mountains, but we need to speak to our mountain. Our God is the God of the impossible, but we must be willing to say something. Thank you for joining me for today's Ministry Minute. Have faith in God and always remember, Jesus is Lord.